Now, when it comes to flavoring our lamb shoulder, there's many different directions and cuisines you can go off to. I've seen recipes with anchovies slow cooked in them. You can put loads of garlic on them. I've even seen recipes, the old Aussie way of putting loads of rosemary and garlic into it. Today, we're gonna go off to the Middle East. I love cumin and lamb together. So I really like the citrusy notes of cumin. So I'm gonna do a Middle Eastern kind of broccoli tabbouleh to go with our slow cooked lamb. So lamb shoulder, got to go into an oven tray. Transfer that over. This is quite the portion of meat. And I guess if you're cooking something that's going to take hours in the oven, you might as well cook a lot because it's fantastic for leftovers. So big cut of lamb shoulder. I'm using whole cumin seeds today. I don't mind getting a pop of cumin uh, as I'm eating it. You could use ground cumin if you like. There's no need for oil either. The lamb shoulder is full of natural fats. So we only need spices and salt. I'm using some ground cinnamon as well. So a little touch of sweetness from the cinnamon to go with that citrusy cumin. A generous pinch of salt. This is a large cut of meat and a lot of this salt will come off while it is cooking. Don't be shy with the salt. The best results you'll get with a lamb shoulder is if you're actually braising it. So to braise something, you need some liquid. There's so much natural flavor going on with the lamb. I just use water. You don't really need stock. I've got about a cup of just cold water and just pour that into the base. There we go, just enough water to keep the lamb nice and moist as it's cooking. That's it, five minutes prep, not even. So what this recipe, it does take a long time in the oven, but it makes up for this recipe does take a few hours in the oven, but it makes up for it with ease of preparation. That was three or four minutes to get it ready. All we need to do now is to cover it. So I like to put a layer of baking paper first. This will stop your tin foil sticking to the spices. So a little kind of cartouche, if you will, helps keep all the juices in there. And now we're going on with some aluminium foil. going to create a little oven of itself for the lamb to cook in and steam and braise away. It's as easy as that. All we need to do now, oven is at 170 degrees. This is going to need four hours to get beautifully soft and tender. All right, the lamb's had its four hours in the oven. It is smelling absolutely delicious. I've just taken the tin foil off, turned the oven up, and I've popped it back in for another 25 to 30 minutes just to crisp up the outside of that lamb. So in that time that the lamb's finishing off, we can make our broccoli tabbouleh. So the first thing we need for that is, of course, some broccoli. So when I say tabbouleh, I think we usually think about tabbouleh as the, you know, the chopped, parsley, tomato, wheat salad that you see, seeding kebab bars. I'm doing this with broccoli today. So we've got no wheat. So we're basically using, or we're gonna slice the broccoli to kind of emulate grains. We're almost doing like a broccoli rice. So you've seen cauliflower rice everywhere. This is the exact same thing, just done with broccoli. It's very, very easy. I like to just chop it up with a knife. I don't like anything too uniform. You could pop it in a food processor, but it tends to go a bit mushy. So I just find a bit of handiwork with the knife onto the board and just chop it up nice and rough. I will get the pan on to heat. Doesn't take long at all to cook the broccoli rice because obviously we've cut it up so small. I know this is not like rice, but what happens is these little bits of broccoli are gonna soak up all of that dressing and they're gonna act like a grain, even though they're not. And it's a great way of bulking out salads with vegetables. So we just need to give this a quick char in our pan. So we've got a hot pan, just gonna scrape all of our broccoli in. There we go, onto the heat. Pinch of sea salt. And that won't take long at all to cook. Just give that a minute or two. While that broccoli is just quickly grilling there, we'll make 
a little lemon dressing. So tabbouleh needs a dressing, it's the juice of a lemon. I've got some honey here just to sweeten up that lemon juice and balance out our dressing. Just about two teaspoons of honey, pinch of sea salt, and a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. There we go, that's a basic lemon dressing you can use on loads of different salads. Just give that a mix, make sure the honey's dissolved. All right, let's have a look at our broccoli. A few nice char marks on there. I can see it's softened down. And we're gonna call that done. You definitely do not want soggy broccoli for this recipe. We want it bright and green and vibrant. And go into our bowl. I've got some crunchy textural things to go in with the tabbouleh. So I've got some dried fruits, some currants here, some roasted almonds, gives us a beautiful crunch, different texture in there. Some pistachios, great colour, great bit of sweetness in there. Sesame seeds, we get a beautiful smoky pop from some sesame seeds. Right, some pomegranate seeds can go in. Beautiful jewels at a nice sort of sweet and sour pop. Okay, I'm gonna give this a toss. The broccoli is still quite warm as we can see, so I'm not gonna put the lemon juice on now. It will turn the broccoli yellow and we don't want beige broccoli and it will wilt the herbs. So set the tabbouleh aside to cool and I've got a beautiful tahini yogurt that we're gonna serve with that lamb as well. So second dressing, I know double dressing in a recipe. We've got um, about two thirds of a cup of Greek yogurt, beautiful and creamy. A Couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. We've got a heaped tablespoon of tahini paste. So tahini paste is just ground down sesame seeds. It has a beautiful earthy flavor to it. And I've got some honey to sweeten up that sour yogurt and the lemon that we've put in there. About a heaped teaspoon of honey, a little bit of elbow grease with a whisk and just bring that all together. Here we go, moment of truth. Look at that, all of the natural fat has come out of that lamb. Doesn't get easier than that. All right, so we need to chop our herbs for our little salad here. Big bunch of flat leaf parsley and a big bunch of mint. Mint's gonna go beautifully with that lamb. Right, just clunk up the herbs. Don't need to be too neat with them. It's a great one if you can't eat gluten and you get an extra hit of vegetables in your diet. It's lower in calories and it tastes fantastic as well. That lemon dressing that we mixed up earlier, always put that on last minute. As I said, as soon as that lemon hits the broccoli, it starts to change the color of it. I've got some serving plates down here because it's getting to that time where we need to serve up. So our broccoli tabbouleh can go on to one serving plate. Still warm as well. All right, time to get the lamb out of this tray. There's obviously quite a bit of fat down the bottom of there. So we want to get the lamb up and out of that. So you need to be quite careful. This literally will fall off the bone. Onto our, look at that, it is falling. Falling apart's good with lamb shoulder though. There we have it. You could serve it like that, but you know what? I like to mess things up a bit. I like to show people just how falling apart this is. Look at that. Do you know, do you know what I'm going to? I was gonna say you could cut this with a spoon, but I'm going to, because I'm like that. Look at that. You can dig a spoon into a slow roasted shoulder of lamb. Seriously, does not get any better than that. We've got that delicious punchy little tahini yogurt that we made before. I like to just drizzle that over the hot lamb, something sour and kind of earthy to cut through some of that delicious sweet lamb. All right, there you have it. Our delicious, melting, comfort lamb shoulder. Our beautiful, fresh, punchy tabbouleh. Do you know what? I am gonna have to have some of this. It is a marathon in the oven, but it is a sprint to prepare. Let your oven do all the work. Tell you what, the proof is in the pudding.